Hi guys, uh, it's uh, Brix Nostalgia here once again with you. Uh, today I would like to do a review of um, a vintage set. It, the set is uh, 8851 um, from 1984. Okay, um, I bought this uh, a few days ago. I was planning to uh, do a review um, a bit earlier than today, but um, I had some problems on fixing the piston, so it took me longer than expected. Um, I'm gonna show you um, this version here where you just uh, um, use the pump, the pump manually, uh, but also I'm gonna show you the suggested, the motorized suggested version uh, that is in the instructions. So what I would like to do is just move this on the side, go through the box and the instructions very quickly and then we're gonna go back and just focus on the set in all these uh, variations, okay? So um, I'm just gonna get the box first. Um, sorry, actually let me put the set on the side for a minute so I have more space. Mm, okay, so it came with a box and the instructions as well. I'm not interested in boxes in general. I'm not interested in collecting them, but um, uh, this set was sold uh, in the action I was following on eBay. The set uh, was sold with a box and I spent the same money that I would have spent for um, um, for buying it without, so it's just a plus for me. Um, it's mint conditions pretty much. You can see that the front cover uh, uh, is in very good conditions. There's still the price tag here. It says uh, 21.99. So in the mid 80s, this was sold for 22 pounds of the 85 um, value, 1985 values. Um, gonna open it inside. As you can see, it still has the tray, the plastic tray inside. It's really in mint conditions. Here uh, you can see. Um, Sorry, I'm actually gonna move the camera a bit. You can see that it explains very briefly how the pneumatic system works. And on the back, you can see the alternate model. Um, I'm not really in, into these models, so I really doubt I will ever be building this up. Uh, but yeah, maybe some of you will be interested, so I'm gonna give it a second for you to have a look. On the set, okay. Uh, let's move the box out of the way and uh, let's have a very brief look at the instruction manual. Uh, it's in mint conditions as well. I guess that this is one of those sets that have been bought for some kids uh, in the mid 80s and then uh, the kid played a couple of times and then he got bored and then uh, everything has been moved uh, in the loft for something like three decades almost because the whole set is in pretty mint conditions and the instructions on the box as well are, uh, are really like new. Um, here you have uh, the instructions to build a second model and I'm just gonna go very briefly towards the end where uh, here it shows you how to combine two different sets the 8851 and the 8700 which is a supplementary set uh, with motors and various gears and in order to have the chance to motorize the system as you can see here using a battery box okay uh, I will show you that later in the second part of the review so let's just uh, um, move to the core view uh, just looking at the set itself uh, this set is beautiful it's fantastic I love the build I love the system the um, in how it works, uh, its efficiency and uh, the look of it and I think it's just fantastic uh, it's fantastic technique set um, it's very different from the ones of nowadays in terms of aesthetics as well but uh, for the 80s this one is uh, I think it's a really a masterpiece okay so um, it's made with train traction the, um, uh, on the bottom and they roll very well um, I'm quite impressed about the fact that they roll so well even if the surface here of this table is so smooth however there is it still has a pretty good grip 
um, it can rotate for a good 360 degrees the upper part and the bottom part are um, held together by this long uh, special piece that is uh, I'm not gonna be able to show you but it starts here at some and it goes here and um, it holds the whole thing all together um, I don't know you know how many sets this piece has been uh, uh, is present however um, yeah that's fine um, you have the cut section and uh, here on the back <clears throat> there is the whole set of switches that uh, control the various uh, the various uh, sections of the arm okay it's three sections sorry three switches for three sections this one is the one that controls the bucket this one middle one is the one that controls the middle section and this last one here is the one that controls the um, this section of the arm the one that moves the whole thing up and down uh, the important thing to notice is that there is an elastic band here that uh, prevents the whole arm to fall up and down to fall down uh, due to the car to the force of gravity and the weight of the arm itself um, i'm going to show you a very brief demonstration um, of how things work this set works very well now because i fixed um, the system uh, when i bought the set and i built it uh, things were not working at all i had to spend a couple of days trying to find a problem in fixing it and um, i'm gonna post a video about it giving a brief description about uh, how i fixed it uh, because I noticed, uh, I did a bit of research online and I noticed that it's a problem that it's pretty common uh, in these vintage pneumatic sets because after a very long time they, they're not used anymore um, they lose uh, their efficiency however, I'm gonna leave that to another video so, I'm gonna um, go for a demonstration um, so I'm gonna start with the lower bucket I'm just gonna mess around a bit and. Uh, and I just want to show you how efficient the system is, okay? So let's start pumping and let's use the let's move the bucket for that. You can see that it's pretty efficient because you just need to pump twice to get the whole motion. So definitely works well. Let's move to the middle section. As you can see just pumping once the whole system moves very well yeah obviously there is a problem with gravity as well and let me just go through this last section where I'm, as you can see just pumping twice the whole thing goes down the set is pretty big as well um, so let me see if I can keep the whole thing uh, I'm gonna try to spread the arm now and see if I can keep the whole thing on range. And there you go. So, pretty big build, very wide. Let me put things back in place. And then that's in. So, there you go. Uh, that's it okay guys i'm not going to spend much more time on this uh, <clears throat> you saw the functions and ah, the only thing and the last thing i would like to note is <clears throat> sorry to mention before we move to the parts where i'm going to motorize this thing is that um, the main interest for me to have this set was to the fact that there are some special p pieces present here um, one of them is these very large gears these ones are quite expensive um, they cost something like 150, 1 pound 50 to, well, to 2 pounds each on Brinkling and also the chain, the train, sorry, the chain trucks here, these are pretty expensive here, there's about 110 pieces and uh, they, co they will cost you a few pounds if you go to buy them on Brinkling so I wanted to have the set but I also made sure I bought this one uh, sorry, one more reason for me to buy it was because of these special pieces and also due to the fact that I didn't have any pneumatic system any set with pneumatic system so I wanted to buy a set with all these things 
present and this was the one to go so um guys i'm gonna go let's move to the part uh, to the second part of the of the um, review and um, let's talk about how these things work when the set is motorized okay hi guys so here we are for the second part of uh, this review where i wanted uh, where i'm gonna show you a motorized version <coughs> of uh, um, of the set um, okay as you can see already there's something we need to talk about okay so um, as let's uh, to explain why the configuration is this one uh, we need to go very briefly to the instruction manual and see how things are supposed to be built uh, following the instructions okay as you can see here from how the instructions uh, from these instructions um, there should be, in order to motorize the pneumatic system, there should be um, a set of uh, gears uh, driven and controlled by this little four and a half volts motor. Uh, now, there is a, a problem when you put uh, this whole thing together, um, at least in my set, and, <clears throat> and the problem is that things don't work. The reason why things don't work and the reason why then I had to make some modifications to the system in order to make it work uh, is as I already said in the first part of the video is that this red piston in order to uh, pump enough air in order to get the system to move and to work needs to move up and down through the whole range of motion that it has possible and what happens is that with the configurations that there is here and with the gears that are uh, with, with the use of these gears here what happens is that the range of motion is very limited and I don't know how it would have worked if this set was uh, new uh, but after about a third more than 25 years um, I don't know if this could affect anything but what happens is that the range of motion of the um, uh, of the red piston uh, with the configuration suggested in the instruction is not wide enough in order to pump an affair so I had uh, to rearrange a bit here the the system uh, using different gears and rearranging the um, the position of the axis uh, in order to make sure that the range of motion was wider now um, once I did that I had to face a second problem which is the second of the two which was that this little motor uh, doesn't have enough torque in order to uh, overcome the resistance the fraction that this piston um, has once it's pushed um, throughout the whole range so I had to go for this four and a half um, train motor uh, it's a motor from the um, um, 80s for of the four and a half um, sorry it's a motor of the uh, it's a train motor of uh, the sets that used to come out in the 80s uh, the good thing of these motors is that it's a still a four and a half volt but he has huge traction so putting these I could overcome the fraction that was and get the system to work obviously it looks very ugly but I just wanted to give you a demonstration and just show you how uh, efficiently it can work and how fast things move but um, yeah so I didn't bother much about um, making it look pretty okay so what I would like to do now with you is um, just uh, power things up I'm not gonna use a battery pack I'm gonna use a um, trains an 80s train uh, transformer just to make it easy for me uh, so I'm gonna power it up and then I'm gonna and let's see how it works okay so now it's powered up and now I'm gonna start to work on the switches to get things moving and you can see that the response is pretty it's pretty efficient I would say so let me try to bend down the second section let's see if things are gonna move a bit yes there you go went down now, now I'm gonna put it up again all the way up 
Now I'm gonna lower down the whole thing. And I'm gonna lower it up. As you can see, that there's a lot of torque. It's, there's a lot of stress on the whole system at the moment. But um, uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna make it work for a few seconds until the demonstration is done. So as you can see, yeah, that once you motorize the system, if you motorize it the right way, which is the way I did, um, making sure that the piston. Okay, I'm gonna stop now actually because I think I showed you enough. Um, yeah, as you can see, if you motorize the, the system properly uh, with the right motor that gives it enough, enough torque and gets the red piston to move enough in order to pump air, and you can see that the system is pretty efficient, so I'm actually quite impressed about this whole thing. Um, so yeah, I got nothing else to say guys, I think that's it, I kept you here for long enough. Uh, the only last couple of things I wanted to say is if please you could uh, rate comment and subscribe would be great because I'm planning to post a lot of videos over the next few months about this stuff uh, the last thing uh, I'm about to post a video as well on how I fixed this whole system uh, after I bought the set after I bought the set which was in very good conditions uh, the system was not working at all it took me a couple of days to work on things and try to fix uh, step by step in order to get the system to work. I managed to make it work and then I'm gonna make a video and you will, should find the link in the description where I'm gonna explain briefly um, what I did and uh, um, what I, find, I found out to be the problem that was not getting the system to work, okay? So thanks for your time guys and I'll see you later, okay?